Hey YouTube, welcome. Oh, la, la, la. Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit of a mixture of stuff. So I'm going on holiday tomorrow, and this is the current state of my flat, right? I've got clothes lying everywhere. I've got stuff lying out everywhere. I've got yes, I still have a Christmas bag from Christmas. Do not judge me. And then I've got my case and everything. So I thought I would film basically like what I pack on my suitcase, like what I'm taking on holiday with me, like some of my reasoning behind it because some of my reasoning is dreadful. Also like I don't know whether or not this video is going to be like prepped to go on holiday with me or what's in my suitcase or like I don't know. I'll decide later but right now I'm going to prop you up somewhere. You can see that can't you? So I have my handy dandy suitcase here. I'm just going to show you guys like basically what I'm taking. So. I'm gonna, but I'm also gonna pack my suitcase at the same time because I've held off this for a reason so that I could film like my process and stuff. Um, this is like all my toiletries in that bag. Um, I've got socks, I've got sports bras, I've got shorts. Oh my god, it's a riot right now. But we move. So first off, I start off with shoes. So shoes I'm taking with me are, I've got not the boxes. I've just. I keep them in the boxes to try and keep them as clean as possible. But we've got white Converse. I kind of go more for like a comfort vibe when I'm away on holiday. So for most of my shoes are trainers. I think I'm taking one pair of heels with me. Um, but yeah, so first pair of shoes going in is the white Converse. Right, so these are my heels that I've decided to take. Um, they're in kind of dust bags. I'm probably going to keep them in the dust bags. But I'll show you like one of them just so you can see. Because we've got a few dresses and stuff. So I think we're going to go like out out for some stuff. But these are the shoes. They're not like too high, but they're also like they go like up the leg, like they wrap around the leg or wrap around the ankle. And yeah, so these are the shoes. Uh, I'm gonna keep that in there because I need to stretch these out as much as possible because I haven't actually worn them before. Probably a really bad idea, like me going on holiday and taking heels that I haven't worn before, but we move. We are just gonna go with it. If I don't end up wearing the heels, I'll wear trainers. I'm not too fussed because I've seen a lot worse abroad, so. I'm gonna take these. Another pair of trainers, so I've got white pumas, white and black pumas. I quite like these. I'm also gonna be traveling in a pair of either Nike Air Force or Jordans, so I'll have those as well, like if I want to wear those. But yeah, so I've got my pumas. These are probably gonna be the heaviest things in my case, to be fair. Um, and then I've got these cute wee uh, black flip flops that I've had these for years like they're so cute and um, they're a bit worn but they'll do the trick so I'm getting these oh also I want to take my sliders I've got a pair of sliders and I've got my sliders so these are the sliders oh, oh. so these are the sliders like they're just kind of they're a bit worn and stuff because I've had them for a wee while but yeah these are just kind of rose gold sli sliders they're so comfy that's why I want to take them right so what else do I put on the bottom this is like so weird for me to do this right now because I'm like so right so I'm just going to start like packing it up so okay we've got six pairs of socks and we're going for seven days so we'll just try and wing it with that also I've got some sports bras um, just some plain old sports bras just I'm going to take regular bras with me as well but there is a gym like in our hotel so I just took a few sports bras and I've took a few, I've took like three pairs of shorts, like a uh, gym shorts, just so that if I want to work out, like I've got an outfit like to wear, because I probably will, not gonna lie, <laughs> probably will. Knowing me, oh there's another pair of socks. Um, right, so I've got obviously pants, right, I do not need those many pants, one pair for good luck. What else, right, okay, so these are dresses, but I don't want to put them in just now. I'm going to put them on the top. I kind of want to put all my bulky stuff kind of on the bottom and then it means all my kind of stuff that gets creased goes on top. But I'll show you that stuff in a minute. All oh, right, I'll go through my toiletries and stuff now. So I went and bought all my toiletries and stuff today, right? This is going to be like my main toiletry bag, but I'm going to take another wee makeup bag because um, I'm going to take obviously makeup with me. But this is kind of my main stuff anyway. So we have got some shower foam or shower gel or whatever. So I've got a wee deodorant cartridge because uh, I use wild deodorant and um, if you haven't heard from them check them out on Instagram because it's like natural like no harsh chemicals good for the environment deodorant or whatever and um, it's a wee bit pricey but it's kind of worth it though because it's helping the environment and, and it did start off as a small business but it's kind of grew so I'm taking a, a wee like cartridge with me because I've already got one like in the actual deodorant so I'm just taking that with me I've got some toothpaste I didn't realize I had a mini toothpaste in here but I bought toothpaste anyway so I've got toothpaste 
We've got some cleansing facial wipes because I'll probably wear some makeup while I'm over there. Um, so I'm just taking them. Um, I've got a wee mini um, face wash because obviously face wash. I have a tan enhancer. Obviously you need to be very careful with this because it can burn you quite easily. This one specifically says it doesn't have SPF in it but it is a tan enhancer. It basically just like helps to boost the natural pigmentation process um, faster to intense uh, tan. Um, so you do have to put sun cream on after this but I'm pretty sure like you have to put it on like five to six hours before you go out in the sun. So I'd be putting this on at night probably. You know like after obviously my skincare and everything. This is my dry oil so I got a 30 SPF. Like I'm normally okay in the sun. I was not okay in the sun. But I normally go for 15, but I went for 30 this time because obviously I haven't been on holiday in like three years, like a hot holiday anyway. Um, so I kind of wanted to stay a wee bit extra protected, especially if I'm putting a tan enhancer on and stuff. So I just need to be careful. And then I also got some new shampoo conditioner. So I got the Revolution Hair Care range and I got the, I can't even say that word, Sally. I, I can't say that word, I'm not even going to try. Um, it's basically these ones, if you can see properly focus on these it's scalp uh, clarifying shampoo and conditioner um, it's made with tea tree oil benetine and panthenol or something it's sulfate free and it's best for oily hair which I have so um, especially on holiday as well so I got that right, so that can go like in my makeup bag because these don't have like caps on them and I don't want it spilling everywhere so um, what else have I got in here? Oh yeah, I got some kind of Q-tips for, uh, mostly for makeup remover and stuff, but um, I do use them for other purposes and that, so I've just got some of these, just in case. But I also just bought myself a new toothbrush because I couldn't be bothered like waiting until like I brush my teeth tomorrow and then put a wet toothbrush back in my bag, so I just decided to buy a new toothbrush and toothpaste. So that's kind of majority of everything that's going in my makeup bag, so um, I'll kind of position this and towards the end when I'm packing because there is some more stuff to go in there like my hairbrush and like bobbles and clasps and combs and stuff but that's the majority of my toiletries. I'm also going to be taking some my protein stuff so I'm going to be taking uh, the clear weight isolate if I can fit it in which I can probably and um, I'll probably just sit it there. There is two sides to this case so like I'll probably fit like my bulky stuff on this side and then switch and put like my most of my clothes and stuff on this side. I'm also taking some um Laguta oh, I can't say that properly. Le glutamine um, amino acid. It's really good for gut health just now and it's really helping me stay kind of flat-ish. So it's helping me with my bloating basically. So I'm gonna take that with me. I'm hoping it doesn't burst open. Most of my clothes are dark. Um I know I'm going on holiday, but black is like my soul colour, so don't judge me. It is what it is. We move. I'm just trying to shut this and it's really annoying me. Okay, anyway, so that's that stuff. Um, so, moving on. I'm also taking my cup with me. I'll probably take it in my carry-on, to be fair, because it's going to be empty anyway, so it probably won't matter. Oh, I found another pair of socks. There we go. Gore. So, I have also a bum bag. This is my bum bag um, for, like, going out and stuff, because um, I don't like taking, like, massive handbags and that when I go on holiday because like you're more likely to get them nicked so I'd rather have a bum bag so it's like on the front of me and stuff plus it kind of covers up that wee pouch so I quite like your wee belly pouch so I quite like that so that's going in there okay so daytime outfits which are bikinis this one is from pretty little thing and it's just a little triangle kind of blue and white number yes they do look very small but i've tried them all on they do fit my tatas so that just says more about my tatas than it does about anything else and then these are the pants i've like undone them all because when i was trying them on i was trying them on with like my own underwear on um but yeah these are the to be fair um again like i'm going for comfort so like i'm basically bought like a brand new wardrobe. I also bought this Christian Dior Paris swimsuit. I'm probably going to wear this to the water park because we have got the water park booked for Thursday which I'm looking forward to so we'll probably do that. Got a wee boob tube number going on. I've got some trousers and I've got like, have I got even any shorts? I'm not, I've got kind of like more like cover-ups for like during the day like when I'm walking about but these will do. So yeah so I've got them. I just realised that thank god I'm actually talking through this. Um, yeah so we've got a wee boob tube number kind of going on here. Um, I've got two of those. Um, I've got this bikini. This is a bikini top right because the pants I bought this bikini like years ago and the pants don't fit me anymore because my booty has grown um, but the top does fit me but I did buy like just a plain white bikini so I'm just going to use the pants from that bikini and 
wear that and um, just wear the top and mix and match i've got this wee kind of plain top as a wee kind of extra cover-up thing just or i could pair it with like a pair of shorts or something just to cut about in yeah so this is the white bikini it's literally just a plain white triangle bikini and then i've got the plain white like kind of triangular pants to go with it just got the pants to go with and then i also just bought like a black one exact same because just want to go between black and white i'm literally just shoving these in like my mom i remember my mom used to pack my case for me see be honest see if she was to witness me doing this right now she'd be like Leona, you're not doing it right um this is a really old bikini to the point where it's actually ripped at the front i don't know if you can see that but it's actually ripped at the front um but this is like a go-to bikini like it's actually so it's just like nice and it's just i just want to cut about in it to be honest it's probably just the easiest one of the easiest bikinis to cut about in anyway so i'm just like just wear it uh, what else forgot oh yeah so i've got a wee i bought this this is a wee bit more of an expensive one but bought a wee fenty bikini it's got like i can't don't know if you can see but it's got like fenty built into the design of it those are the pants but i also got oh there it is um and that's the top for it uh, it's just a wee kind of bandeau kind of look bikini so i've got that i've also got just kind of random like bikinis that have fitted me in the past but Basically, the bottoms for this didn't fit me, so I would probably just put black bottoms underneath this. Um, because the top, this is like a push-up one, so it makes my boobies look really good. So I'm like, I'm definitely taking that. Um, and then these bikini bottoms, again, I'd probably just put one of the black um, bikini tops on, because again these bottoms fit me but the top didn't fit me so i'm just like i'm just going to mix and match so that's kind of mostly like bikinis and stuff i've got um i've kind of got a matching jammy set so these are jammy shorts that i'm going to be wearing um i literally got these in a size up because i'm kind of going again for more of a comfort vibe so i got these in a size up and it's got a wee matching sports bra well, i say sports bra it's not a sports bra but it's basically shaped like a sports bra but for night time um right so we're going, i've got another wee boob tube number that one really shows your under boob like mental this one's still got the tag on it i haven't wore this and but i bought it like three years ago again it's just another wee bandeau top what else have i got oh yeah i've got a wee mesh t-shirt so obviously like i could either wear that with like a bikini underneath or um i could wear it with like a bandeau top or something like if it's a wee bit colder because it is i checked the forecast like there is days to be colder than others but at the same time like it still would be really warm so i'll just take it anyway what else have we got right okay so we're kind of going on to more kind of out fits now i have got oh i love these so these are like mesh beach trousers so they're see-through but obviously like you wear your bikini underneath and then like i just feel like these would take just really good pictures it's like it's an extra kind of cover-up because you know obviously like you guys will know that like obviously i i suffer from a lot of insecurity so i kind of just bought some kind of cover-up things to make me feel a bit more confident when i'm out kind of walking around and stuff plus i'm also during my period when i go away did not time it very well but obviously like girls we bloat like you know we feel shit blah 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 like and also we're going it's all inclusive so i'm going to be at the buffet pure stuff in my face and just everything and anything i can so i kind of bought some like trousers and stuff to cover up with um like if i was feeling a bit more self-conscious or rather than just walking about with my ass and tits just out you know i look a bit more modest so i just kind of went for that kind of vibe so that's what we're going with so we've got those which i'll definitely need to unpack as soon as we because these will crease like hell um i've also got oh this is a wee swimsuit this is just a wee kind of cut out different looking kind of swimsuit um again just to give a bit more variety just to kind of change it up a bit i think i've got enough swimsuits again this is another kind of cover-up that i can wear with like a pair of shorts or something or even i could just wear it like just with the bikini itself that one i've had for ages but like you know like buying cover-ups and stuff it kind of just makes you feel a bit more confident sometimes this is a cute now i seen one of my favorite influencers right by like wasn't this exact one but basically by like a cover-up skirt and it just ties and you just see the opening of the bikini and i just thought it looked dead nice so i bought a sand one from pretty little thing and it just i just feel like it would look dead nice like you know that way where like you've just went down for breakfast like you're just going to the pool just to chill for the day like and i just felt like this would just be dead nice just to cover up with and just why not i've also got this um grey dress i've had this for absolute donkey's years right but it's always fitted me it's very stretchy like it's very like freeing and it's just very like you can wear it like daytime or nighttime like and it's just a long um, maxi dress and i pure love it i'm pretty sure i can't even mind if i bought it for myself or my mum bought it for me or my mum bought it for herself and gave me it and um, but anyway like this is just like a wee maxi dress is kind of like a spare kind of outfit i am um, i've also got this kind of snake looking uh, mesh shirt again like as another kind of cover up for uh, bikinis and stuff like if i'm walking around 
Plus, I'm also going to be taking lots and lots of pictures, so just getting different outfits and different thingies. Um, I've got these shorts. I literally look like a sweetie man in these shorts, but they're so comfortable. And they have pockets, so I'm definitely taking them. What else? Is this my t-shirt dress? I've also got this t-shirt dress. Again, I could wear this. I normally wear it with a belt wrapped around it, but I could use like my bum bag or something. Um, it's just plain old t-shirt dress. Just as that, again, like... I'm not planning on kind of wearing this, but it's just as an extra backup outfit, like in case like something doesn't work out or I'm feeling self-conscious that day. Like it's really good to have like these backup ideas. I've got this um crisscross kind of boob tube, not boob tube, um corset uh, top. It's really hard to show you right now, but basically your boobs go in this meshy bit and then it goes like kind of round. It's really hard to show you, but anyway, it's like a, it's basically like a wee corset top that's like silky kind of round here, and then like I've got the mesh coming around the boobs. It really goes well with a pair of trousers that I'm going to show you soon. Um, so that was kind of the plan. I've also got this denim. Now, I know what people are saying. Why are you taking denim on holiday with you? I don't actually know, right? But I tried this on. I bought this like three years ago. Not three years ago. Probably like 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. Five years ago, right? And it still fits me. See if something still fits me. I'm taking it with me. Because again... Back up, back up outfits. Um, also, this is like another wee, um, it's not actual denim, but it's like denim look. Um, again, like I could wear this with a bikini, you know, walking along the beach or like going to the strip or something or going to the shops just to buy juice. I don't know. Um, right, so these are the trousers I was talking about to go with the black corset top. Now, these trousers look like, and also when you're putting them on, feel like they're not going to fit you, right? And they zip right up the crack of your bum, right? I've never known a pair of trousers to do this before, but they do. They are royal blue, and I swear to God, these things are like the best things ever. Like, they're so comfortable, they're so flattering, and honestly, like, I'm so glad that I bought them. But again, see, when you're trying them on, like, you feel like you're going to rip them, you feel like you're not going to fit into them, but you do, so it's fine. Um, And now I've got a so most of that what I just showed you was from Pretty Little Thing or Boohoo. Um, I'm not going to tag everything down below because one, so most of the stuff there like I haven't just like just bought. Um, some of the stuff is discontinued or like not a thing anymore and like it's just going to be too much. So most of that stuff there was Pretty Little Thing or Boohoo. Um, this little number though is, so this is the top. It's long sleeved and it's off the shoulder and it's got a wee crisscross bit at the back if you can see that. I know the lighting's really crap. I do apologise. And I got matching trousers to go with it. Um, these are gonna. These are the trousers, and they've got like crisscross bits, um, like at the side. So like, I'd need to wear probably black underwear with these. Um, so I got that from Rebellious Fashion. Oh my god! See, when I put that set on, I felt like a bad bitch. Not gonna lie, like it was so flattering on me, like unreal. Um, I got this wee dress from Pretty Little Thing. It's kind of got the crisscross at the front. It's kind of got a halter neck kind of vibe to it. Again, just. I bought it just because one it was on sale and two I thought it looked nice Um, again right so these are kind of dresses just as backups because we are going to be probably going out to the clubs and stuff Um, so I'm going to take this wee dress with me because I love this wee black dress like it normally goes with just anything and it normally kind of gives me the most flattering look if you know what I mean Um, I'm also going with a, this is my black oversized shirt dress that's I'm taking a belt with me also for the t-shirt dress but this is just a shirt and um, black shirt dress Um, again I'll need to take out my case like as soon as I land basically because it creases like hell I really like the way this looks on me Um, and again like it's another kind of backup like if I'm feeling insecure or whatever because it does cover up those insecurities sometimes and I just feel like having those options really make you feel a lot better make you feel a lot, um, bit more secure so I just like to plan ahead and this is my favourite dress ever I bought this dress years ago and it's the fact that it still fits me it's kind of like crisscrossed at the back I'll try and show you crisscrossed at the back kind of backless and it kind of swoops down like towards the chest area and it shows like a good wee bit of side boobage it, oh it's so flattering man like I absolutely love it so that is majority that's literally all my clothes I think I think it is that's majority of all my clothes yeah so obviously that that's just went like all in this side of my suitcase and then I just pull that over and then I just zip it up and then that's all my clothes and then it's all my shoes and shit in there. Um, but I do really need to look for my um, my weight to like actually weigh my case and also I need to look for a plug, like a European plug um, so that I can like charge my phone and stuff like that when I'm over there. I know you can buy them in the airport but they're normally expensive and I'm not in the mood to spend that much money. 
But anyway, yeah, that's all my clothes packed. Like, that is mental. But yeah, so that is all my clothes packed. So all my clothes are in this side. And then, obviously, I'll put, like, my belt and stuff in there. Um, I've got moisturiser here, but that's going to go in there. Um, but yeah, so that's majority of everything. So, without me trying to make this video way too long, and, and also I've got quite a lot of stuff to still do. So I obviously need to lock up my house and everything like that. We fly out at quarter to six tomorrow. So currently it's Monday, so that'll be Tuesday. Um, quarter to six at night. Um, so we will probably get there. But don't worry, I am going to vlog the entire holiday. So that will be up probably the week after I come back. This video is probably going to be out once I'm already there. So, because I'll probably edit it on the plane. Um, so yeah, so anyway, guys, I'm not going to leave you too much longer. But yeah, if you're watching this and the vlog's already out, enjoy the vlog. If not, um, you may wait until I come back. But um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.